Oh, my name is Peter Karari, a PhD student in Peace and Conflict Studies, attending the Summer Institute of Student Leadership and Global Citizenship. And uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about economic aid or foreign aid. Is aid our the institution? Economic aid or foreign aid is a very challenging topic. I have a dual answer in relation to uh, this question about the worthiness of foreign aid. The institution of aid could be described as worthy if it addresses and satisfies the expressed needs of the community, uh, of the local community, thereby contributing to positive change uh, and also sustainable change. However, the institution of foreign aid could be described as unworthy if it does not make any positive change or achieve uh, the intended goals uh, in the target communities. Aid must be uh, not only responsive but also responsible. Aid must never be a top-down approach but a bottom approach that is inclusive of the expressed needs of the community and uh, the national institutions. Aid can never be a stand alone institution. It is not the ultimate solution for development. In other words, aid is not a panacea for development. It cannot succeed in isolation from other institutional forms. Examples of successful aid are projects in the Northern Ireland, China, Botswana, and Taiwan has been facilitated through extensive efforts in socio-economic and political reforms. In other words, the legislation, the legislation of supportive national policies acted as the midwife in the success of economic aid in the mentioned countries. The administrators of foreign aid must be ready to listen to the community, consult the community, and make decisions together with the community. The local communities have extensive resources of knowledge and wisdom about the best ways in which their challenges can be addressed. They know the sources of cheap raw materials, skills, and manpower that can be improvised to make meaningful interventions. The main challenge of the foreign aid implementers uh, is the ongoing attitude, the superiority complex, and the detachment from the target communities. There is a need to tailor foreign ideas to local needs and continuously monitor the success of the process with active involvement of the target communities. The worthiness of foreign aid can be assessed by the local communities. They are the ones who can tell whether it has, been, um, it has made any impact in their lives or not. That is my take. Thank you so much. God bless you.